yeah, and just like that, we are back. We're back, people. Gentlemen of Atlanta, I am Rizel Simmons, bodybuilder and author of Keys to Increasing Your Productivity. Check the link. And my co-host are here to my left. Angelo Bird, uh, Brands by Bird on Instagram. I've uh, got a lot of brands. Um, we'll be talking about those today. An uh, entrepreneur based here in Atlanta, Georgia. And I'm Jimmy Jones with the Z, or AKA Sell Your Home, Jimmy Jones. When it's time to sell your home, call Jimmy Jones. Hey. <laughs> I'm with I will not be out worked. So there you go. <laughs> Boom. I'm the you hardest. See? I'm the hardest. I'm the hardest working real estate agent in, in Atlanta. The hardest working record label CEO in Atlanta, and the hardest working party promoter in Atlanta. Man, we, we, we'll vouch for that. We'll vouch for that. <laughs> been a long time. And they've <laughs> been, both of them have definitely been to all my, well, all my good ones back in the day. Yeah. <laughs> Show. I, ironically, how this all started with me and Jimmy was I was a photographer for. That is right. His vision. That is That's right. how we started back that in what? Right. Was that 2005, 2006? Wow. I literally forgot about that. It's crazy. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. When I first started throwing parties in Atlanta, because, you know, I went to FAMU. Right. And then I graduated, came back home to the ATL. But Bird was my first photographer. What was that? Over the edge? Oh, edge key to the city. city. But over the edge. Yeah. Key and to then the city was all Edgewood. Whole yeah. Edgewood. And mm -hmm. then um, the ones you used to throw at Utopia. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Yo, know, that's crazy. It's Incredible. crazy how, how, how Kappas connect and how Greeks connect in any city, yeah. period. And of course, you're my chapter, bro. And as soon as I moved to Atlanta, everybody said, yo, you gotta know Jimmy. You gotta meet Jimmy. Yep. Like, I had several people. And we finally linked up, man, and we had a good time. Mm -hmm. And uh, here we are probably, I don't know, seven years later, okay. you know, still kicking it, you know? Still looking good. Still looking good. Yeah. Still looking doofish. <laughs> still looking doofish. We better stress it in our 40s, baby. Let's okay. get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and um, you know, no this show has really, we've been getting a, 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 a decent following of ironically women mm. trying to hear what men have to say okay and we've also been getting men in their 30s and 40s and today we got a topic for you but Woo. before <laughs> before we jump into that you know we have this nice this nice background here and we uh -oh. always get questions and they want to know what what's the what's the liquor what's the drink the spirit of today uh, of today well let me go ahead and unzip this for you all Woo. Right. Achievement All right. in every bottle. All right. Achievement in and today every we're going to sip on this spirit. Um, our sponsor of the day Ooh. is Dick's Boys Bourbon, it's created by three of our frat brothers up in Philly. Okay. So during the pandemic, when the pandemic first started in, in Philadelphia, they were not distributing liquor in the stores. They were closed. So they, these brothers said, hey, let's start our own. Yeah, it's smart. Brilliant. Well, and two and a half, three years later, here we are with Dick's Boys. This is a 75% high rock. I mean, sorry. 75% corn, a 21% high rye, and a 4% barley, and comes out at 93 proof. So let's Ooh, go ahead. It's a nice bottle. Too. Load off the Glen Coran. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. All right. Appreciate All right. it. Get you some of that. <laughs> that nice snifter. Right. <laughs> These are called a Glen Cairn. A little bit different than a snifter, but the same concept. Okay. So, <laughs> um, you gotta be specific. There's a thin line between just living. Versus just not dying. It is. We're going to toast to that. Salute. 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 Okay. All right. That's good. That's smooth. That's hitting. Smooth. That's hitting. All right. All right. I like it. Ooh. So now that we've done that, let's go ahead and jump right on into today's topic. This was a topic that uh, actually I derived from online. What's it like dating in your 30s and 40s? So, <laughs> we're going to throw it to you first. You ready? Yeah, so. What's it like? I mean, obviously, coming out of your 20s, going into your 30s, for me, uh, I was married. Okay. I was married. I was children. I started early having children. Um, then I'm relocated to Atlanta. Next thing you know, I'm no longer married, and I'm single. And... Women here in Atlanta, especially at that time, and I'm sure, and as well today, um, were different than women back in Ohio where I'm from. Mm, okay. They earn a lot more. They have bigger homes than any home that I ever lived in. <laughs> they drove different type of vehicles than I ever drove. True, true, true. So in order for me to be com competitive in this Atlanta market, mm -hmm. I knew day one I had to have my shit together. Step it up. I had to step it up <laughs> thousandfold yeah. um, to be able to compete, not only with 
you know, being on par with where the, where the women were, but, you know, the fellas are doing big shit down here in Atlanta, too. Absolutely. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and you're coming in, you're really trying to make a name for yourself, I've, as we talked about earlier, starting being in the entrepreneur space, photography, uh, investments, and we're really, even before you got into real estate, I was in real estate, yeah. doing that real estate boom in 05, 06, 07, yeah. before that dump in 08, yeah. uh, trying to do every avenue of revenue generation possible to put me in a position that I could ensure that I'm fed and my children are fed as well. Um, for me, in that space, in dating, especially in the 30s, uh, it was fun. It was hard. <laughs> it was frustrating, right? Emphasis on hard. Yeah. Because <laughs> there's a lot more available women, and I'm speaking good, solid women, right, right. than <laughs> hard. Than it was, it was for, than it is men. Right, yeah, you're right. Um, and and the field is astronomically different. Yeah. Tell right. me about that. What you mean, astronomical? Are you talking about age range in dating for a man, or what okay. do you mean? You think being a thirty year old right. man, right? You can date a twenty year old, thirty year old, forty year old, fifty year old, and sixty year old woman. True, indeed. Honestly, that's what you're saying. Um, and and depending upon where they were in that different bucket. It puts you in a position where, you know, some at 40, 50 weren't trying to get married, obviously weren't trying to have kids. Some that were still younger had never been married, and they wanted to prepare families. Right. And me, I've already had the family life. Uh, I wanted to have fun, and I had a lot of fun here in Atlanta in my 30s. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's why we're here, because I think we all represent, we have an interesting perspective, and our lives are just totally different going into the 30s and 40s. So, Jimmy, what, what about you? Well, I would say this, you know, and I, we haven't said our ages yet, so, but just... I said I'm 40. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay, 40 okay. on dot. Okay, I'm 44. <laughs> I'm, I'll be 44 this, this year. Mm -hmm. So, but right? when I was in my 30s, you know, I, I was, I actually got married uh, when I was 31, 32. Okay. Uh, got divorced three years later, so, you know, things happen. I mean, you know, just like Bert was saying, I mean, life happens, and so I was... Fortunate enough to be able to close one chapter in order to to live my life and uh, potentially open another. So yeah, I had fun, but I will say that social media played a factor uh, later in my later thirties. You know what I mean? Uh, my early thirties, I was right on the cusp. So MySpace. Yeah, Who's MySpace days. Remember that? Yeah, <laughs> Black Planet. I never was on Black Planet, but <laughs> Me? Yeah, you look like you was on Plenty of Fish. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been on there. I probably, uh, probably. You know, <laughs> you know, <laughs> promise. No. Okay. But so, long story short, is I went through some tough times after I got divorced, just finding myself. Mm, right. You know what I mean? And mentally, just kind of re re snapping back into Jimmy Jones. Yeah. And but once I did. Uh, you know, I was on dating apps in my later 30s, and I was, you know, I was King Bumble now. I was King Bumble. <laughs> so, uh, and then that's good actually, app, good app. Yeah, that's actually when I got casted for Ready to Love, man. Okay. It was in my late 30s, you know, so it was great because I, you know, I got to see myself, you know, in front of the world, you know, some, some right. parts more embarrassing, whatever, but neither, I mean, but nevertheless, I was able to take that situation and realize that there are plenty of fish out here. You know what I mean? And you have to value yourself as a man to know that you have to put yourself in a financial, um, a, a financially safe uh, position, uh, spiritual, emotional, emotional. So all those things have to happen before you can start looking for a woman. Really. Yeah, and absolutely. And crazy, right? In business, I say to my, my teammates, um, when we're going out to, to close deals, yeah. they say plenty of fish. Right, a lot of fish, but well, you got to fish where the fish are. Oh, especially when dating. Yeah, right. Yeah, just because it's a lot of fish, you got catfish, you can have red snapper, <laughs> what right, flounder, right. you got sea it's bass. A, a, I'm throwing the catfish back. Oh, you got crappy. It's a lot of crappy. <laughs> <laughs> but it, oh, real talk, it's a lot of catch and release out there too. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Good idea, that. and that's good for men yes. to catch and release. You know, Absolutely. for me, um, I, I've never been married. Um, never been married. So, yeah, there's been some fun. But how would I describe dating in your 30s and 40s? Can we say words like challenging, yeah. delusional, chaotic? You, you know what I mean? And I know that sounds bad, 
but it's real also with kind of what you spoke about a little bit, Jimmy, like social media, right? That's skewed the game. We're talking about filters. We're talking about 30, 40 year olds <laughs> no, with the 10 year old pictures. So, you know, you've come out on dates and it's like, hold on, that picture was seven Cap. years ago. Cap. So the game has changed when you're dating in your 30s and 40s. So, I mean, but, I'm just throwing that out there. Well, let's talk about a city like Atlanta, though. Oh, yeah. There are so many more available women to men. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of guys, and I can't s- s- confirm or deny that I've been um, one to take advantage and leverage my position mm-hmm. <laughs> as it relates to being a single man in Atlanta. You should. So we hurt one woman who hurts another woman who hurts another woman who hurts another woman, and then they get with a guy and they're hurt. They can't be emotionally available to this man. Yeah. So they hurt him. And he could be a good guy. Yeah. And yeah. you turn a good guy, you know, a woman could turn an average man great and a great man average. No no doubt. No question right? about that. Wow. I mean, think about, movie, right? You think about what some of the women have done to some of these good guys that are no longer good. Yeah. Right? Like me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, we, 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 we all need, um, you know, to uh, go to counseling. We all need to uh, refine ourselves at different uh, levels as we grow. Every man really should be growing. You know, for me, uh, tips to dating is similar to what you guys said too, right? Uh, being clear when mm-hmm. dating someone about your agenda, whether it's serious um, whether you're dating for marriage um, or, um, you know, you have to be also not only confident in yourself, but have your finances together and be in a place where you can date healthy because okay. hurt people hurt people. And if you're not in the space to date either, a lot of people in their 30s and 40s probably should not be dating. Not safe, and, and you know? not this is what I'll say to you <laughs> men in your 20s and going into your 30s. What right? you got? What you got? Voltaire said it best. Hopefully you're listening to me. Never judge a man by his answers. You judge him by his questions. Mm. Ask the right questions on the front end. It's going to save you a lot of pain on the back end, fellas. Wow. Period. Yeah, absolutely. And what I said goes both ways, right? Because, you know, she may be um, out of a long-term relationship, yeah. and she needs to sit down with a couple men across the table and see that, you know what I mean? Mm. You, you, What kind of an elite male you are. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah. So, you know, they need to get out, have that date. I ain't saying go out and, you know, slander all the fish, you know. But everybody needs to go out, date, be honest, and say, hey, you know, I'm just kind of out here dating right now. I'm getting used to the market. I, you know, was married or I've been in a long-term relationship. And I just want a good woman I can take out and have good times with, go out of sports games with. Mm-hmm. You know, are you that type of woman? Or, hey, I'm looking for marriage. And I think that clears a lot up. Yeah. Okay. But you think about it also when you're asking the questions. You got to ask yourself the questions, and we, we really don't ask ourselves a lot of questions. What are my limitations? How much okay. growth do I truly have? Mm. Um, where do I want to be in twelve months, thirty six months, you know, seventy two months from now, so I can be the best version of myself for my future? If my future that includes a wife, right. if my future right, includes right, right, a new right. business, if my future includes, includes children, where do I see myself, and what am I doing today that's going to put me in position to achieve those goals? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Long ter- long term thinking is definitely like I like like I think that uh, the problem with having so many options as a man sometimes is that we have short term thinking. You know what I mean? But there are good men out here. You know what I mean? Yeah. That are looking for long term situations. Are looking for commitment. I was one. Yeah. You said was. I, I was I, until I found, until I found mine on Bumble too. <laughs> Shout out this to my lady. brought to you by Bumble. <laughs> you got to. <laughs> man. Yo, that's, that's, that's real talk, man. That's real talk. Um, I think the most important things, of course, are just for a man to have himself together. What are, what are some of those steps in getting yourself together? How do you truly know when you're together? Is it only through counseling? Is it through, uh, what, a little self-medication, going out, kind of seeing I gotta, what the I, world I, is I, like and no. saying, no, I want to be home. I, I have it right here. I have it. All right, let me, <laughs> let me get it. It sounds it? like an epiphany came. Ready? You're here? Listen. Listen. <laughs> what do you hear? Peace. Oh, silence. Peace. Quiet. Peace. Ah. Yeah. Silence. Yeah. I don't have drama. 
Yeah. I don't want drama. I don't Got bring drama. Yeah. Right. I was so, literally going to say, it's also about men making better choices in the women that we yeah. choose. That's you know key. I mean? You know what? That's key. Yeah, because if you choose a woman who's loud mouth on the first day or mm. snaps at you in the first couple, you know, first couple of interactions or, you know, she has daddy issues, you know what I mean? Or the, or, or the father wasn't even present, which... That is that is one Going key back thing. To questions. You always judge a woman <laughs> by her family, where she come from. It plays a part. But, but 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 not judge because I think no one should be, be judged. aware. Be aware. Just conscious. make your choices based upon where they come from because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Ooh. You know, look at that. Look at that mother. Mm-hmm. How you know was she a single mother struggling? Right. Was she living off of you know? Was she expecting a man to pay all her bills? Was she you know? It, it, is that why you get hit in the middle of a relationship? Like, where did this come from? Because you didn't ask the right questions yeah, at the beginning. Back you to didn't my look questions. at the family. Yeah. You didn't. So, so I think to your question, to your point, as a redirecting back to to the original synergy that right. we're trying to create mm-hmm. and develop today for young men and young women. So it's not just one sided. Mm-hmm. Ask pertinent question that you want to know the answers to today, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. Uh, family background. What are your goals and visions in the next couple few years? Um, do you want to plan a family, right? What's not many your, not many of us what's plan What's your credit school? That, that your, those good. And, 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 and ask about the children. You know, where are those fathers? Ask about the hurt in their life. What have they done to heal themselves? You know, you want to know that that person uh, is actively engaged in bettering themselves as well, right? You don't want to find out five months later in a relationship you got a dud and you're the only one working, right? So that's my point. And, and let me go back to a point, though. Especially you brothers and sisters in your 20s, get some therapy. It's, it's so cliche in our community. Nothing's wrong with it. I literally had therapy this morning at 9 a.m., bro. Like, there you go. There schedule you go. It's, it's, it's so <laughs> important. But, cool. imagine, but imagine if we would have done that in, in 25. Right, right, right. 26, 27. Correct. You can, I think the question begs is... What can we do as we have this platform mm-hmm. to help our brothers and sisters out there long term? Yeah. Get some help today, even if there's nothing wrong. You can sit down. You could have came from a mother-father household with nothing's wrong. But society, to your point, the social media, everybody wants right. it now, 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 right. now. Right. But how can we really be the best versions of ourselves today? Sit down and get some help. Sit down and talk. Professional and, help, yeah. Yes. Not just your circles oh. and asking your friends and all of the hurt people that's in your life. No, get professional help. There's nothing better than that. Another thing, It's though. an investment in yourself. Yeah, so a lot I, of times I, it's free. Yes. A lot of times free, yeah. it's free. Or we get, get insurance, about, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. I mean, you're talking about 30-minute 30, 30 phone sessions, yeah, yeah. you know, Zoom. So, I mean, they've made it. You know, free and in some cases, or just cut back on something. Assessing. You know, like as men, we have to like sometimes. Like my therapist told me today, my homework is to literally. He said, Jimmy, every piece of money that you spend for the next week until our next session, I want you to write it down, mm. and and we're gonna discuss it, right? Look at that. And so, you know, you have to figure out what's important to you, mm-hmm. and if health is important to you, which mm-hmm. it should, go to the gym. Yeah. If health is important to you, Maybe. take care of your mind. Right. Uh, Smoke a little less weed that week mm-hmm. so you can afford to pay for your therapy. Right, right, Do right. Th- You know, weed is legal now in, in <laughs> several states. <laughs> uh, okay, so, but, you know, take care of yourself. But sometimes we have to make adjustments, but we have to be honest with ourselves. Yeah, yeah, nah, definitely, definitely, man. Well, well, that's good. Good advice. I love it. And I want to hear from you. Comment below. Let us know what it's been like dating in your 30s and 40s. We want to hear from the men. And we want to hear but, from the but, ladies, of course. Too. But, What's up? We only talk about the 30s. Yeah. It's not it's totally from ball game. We ain't say nothing about yeah, 40s. Yeah, what? So, we all in our 40s. You know, obviously, as you transition through life. Absolutely. Um, and now, it's about mental health. Mm-hmm. And get into a place in where you can plateau on your mental health space, but also in, involved with somebody who is on that same path to getting ment- mental health corrected. Come on. Right? A, B. Because um, at 40, when, something's going to be up. Yeah, absolutely. Especially so, and if, it's you're, fine. If, you're, if you're both available. Be so honest. If, if the amount of women that I've come in contact with today at age 40, I'm 46, by the way, that have never been married and don't have children. Some ladies waited the whole show for that. Okay. <laughs> How this great? Granddad, 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 granddad,
what type of medications are they on? Okay. Right? Let's talk. Um, you know, man. You, what type of medications am I on? What, what <laughs> you talking Health about blood issues, thinners? Everything. You're talking real. about um a lot of different yeah. things that are just prevalent with us being black forty men, plus yeah. and, and black, black men. men. Yeah. Um, yes. 40. But, yeah, but, but fellas, even at 40, we still have to ask the same question that we're trying to foster and build into our young brothers and sisters asking, are you okay? Do you want to plan a family? Yes. Uh, what are your, your credit and, and what are the future goals? Are you a homeowner? Are you a renter? A lot of these things that, you know, was cool, but you know, we're, and they say that we're, you know, middle age is in the fifties, but think about it. If life expectancy for men is what age? Seventy two. Yeah, there you go. Thirty six is really middle age. Yeah. We're over that hump. Wow, look at that. Think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, have you ever thought about it like that? Whoa. Yeah. We're over the middle age hump. So we got a good twenty to twenty four <laughs> years. Men in forties. Right? Uh, ladies, <laughs> some of these men in forties can't get it up like they used to. <laughs> right? So you gotta start building Real strong foundational relationships yeah. on emotion and real substance, not just what yeah. a man can provide financially or what he can provide in, in the bedroom or whatever. And go to church, man. Yeah. Go to you church. You gotta have a spiritual balance. Go to right? church. Go Omas, to, whatever you fuck. In the church. Have a relationship with God is our point. Yeah. Right? Because, you know, sometimes. But it, go to church too. Yes. Fellowship. Go to it all. Fellowship. Fellowship yeah. with people. Yeah. Fellowship with people. Okay. And that was going to drive another point home. What's right, that? I've known Rizal since his undergrad days, twenty yeah, plus let's just years. Say twenty years, let's just right? Say when, 20. I, when we when I helped foster him into inducting him into Cap Ops, oh, great. <laughs> Not hazy organization. You softly brought, <laughs> you, you delicately brought him into the fraternity. Yeah, it was just like that. Very right? gently. Yes, yeah, cross the like cold that. Sands. <laughs> but I've known Jimmy since two thousand five. Woo! So that's going on twenty years. You're ago. right. Wow. And when we in any space, I can go to Jim and say, hey, you, you're, on, you're on some bullshit. Yeah. And he come oh, to me yeah. and I can go to him. And that's also, hold your people accountable. Yeah. And have people that's in your important. space, especially 40 plus, that can hold you accountable when you're doing silly shit out here in these streets. Absolutely. Thanks. So, woo, yeah. Accountability partners, a trust circle. Um, hang, you know, you are the three people that you hang around. You yeah, are the, if they're, if they're broke, you're broke. If they're rich, you rich. It's just as simple as that. I need to hang around y'all brothers more. <laughs> there you go. There you go. These rich brothers over here. <laughs> These high value men. Well, here we go. I mean, <laughs> and shout out Rest to the peace. Mate. Rest there in peace, go. Godfather. Yeah, the, the, Kevin Samuel. Good brother. Cap up aside. The frat. Yo. Yo, rest in peace. So, the invisible chapter. The invisible too. That's right, man. So, yeah, I think that's tons of great advice. Um, I think that's a great, great show. Again, we want to hear from you. Comment below. But before we go, uh, Jimmy, where can they find you on social media? All right. You can find me on all social media platforms. I am Jimmy Jones with a Z. That's where my music is. I'm also a record label CEO. I have two artists, um, <laughs> Ariel Jillian, and I also have my boy Trap World. Uh, we have music uh, that's available. We do inspirational trap music. I believe in God through Jesus Christ, and I believe in changing your life through making better choices. And uh, so, yeah, you can check me out on Apple Music, um, uh, YouTube, at Jimmy Jones with a Z. I am Jimmy Jones on TikTok and on IG. Look him up. Look him up. It's look time him to up. sell your home or buy. <laughs> Call Jimmy Call Jones. Jimmy Call Jimmy Jones. Jones. <laughs> and um, Angelo. I'm on uh, all social media outlets as Brands by Bird. Um, I represent not only Dick's Boys Bourbon as a brand ambassador here in Atlanta. Um, only three is uh, co owned family brand, what I own with my family. We're going to sample these a little Good later chips, on. Man. Good uh, chips. We have four flavors Italian herb, pinch of lime. Um, we have sea salt. And I don't have a bag of um, cinnamon, but these are vegan friendly, non GMO based um, in, our, in our headquarters in Nevada, uh, where we're manufacturing. So, more to come on that later on in Brazil. Hey, man, there it is. You guys can find me at Fit Tech Noop 3.0 
on Instagram and also TikTok. And of course, you can reach us, Gentlemen of Atlanta, on Instagram as well. And of course, please subscribe and comment. And share. share. And share. Please. It helps us. It helps the algorithm and it helps this message that we're putting together to really get out and spread. Hopefully, you're enjoying what we do. We appreciate the love. We appreciate you tuning in. Salute. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time. Salute. Peace. Peace.